Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. If you're not familiar with our channel, I'm Todd. And I'm Carla. And we're gonna get, show you a little uh, walk around tour of our 2019 Northern Light 10-2. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start on the outside, do a little walk around, and then uh, when I'm done out here, we'll go inside and uh, Carla can show you the inside, so. Uh, just a quick tour here outside. Uh, this is the 10-2 model uh, special edition. Um, so uh, back here are the uh, two 20-pound propane tanks. Uh, just pretty standard with the change over there. This is the generator box area. We do not have the generator. Um, so if it had a generator, there would be a vented door here. So this is just storage for us. However, the box is uh, prepped and wired and ready to go for to put a generator in. It's generator ready. And uh, it comes with the uh, the gas line and uh, everything in order to hook up a generator if you want to put it in. But um, with, with not having the generator, it makes for a lot of extra storage, which we've really enjoyed. It's been great having all that storage. And on around to the, the side here, uh, just standard exterior light, furnace vent, and uh, this is the refrigerator. So pretty standard access to that. One thing nice about uh, the refrigerators on these Northern Lights is that they vent out the roof. So, you know, as heat rises, it goes in and goes straight up. So. Uh, having a roof vent, I, I think, is a, a big benefit to uh, having that style of uh, refrigerator vent and, and roof, roof deal instead of an upper vent on the wall. But um, the windows on this camper are the thermopane acrylic windows and uh, the awning style, so they tilt out and uh, they're clear. They're not tented, but uh, they work great. and. Uh, They've, uh, in, the, in the cold weather, they, they worked really well, and even actually in the summertime, they've worked great too, just to keep it nice and cool in there when running the air conditioner. And over here are just two battery boxes, uh, one battery in each box, and uh, they're linked together as well, so uh, that's pretty standard. It has a, a manual awning up top, it's got the crank style, and it's got some legs that come down and attach to the side wall. So uh, it works really well. It comes out, I don't know, seven or eight foot or so. We've really enjoyed that. Yeah, it, it's, it's great having a side awning to just put some chairs out here. I mean, it's got the rear awning and a side awning. So we've actually done both. We've, we've enjoyed just sitting underneath the back awning. Depending on the campsite that you're at, you can kind of do either or, or both, which is super nice. Or you can use that as an awning. Oh yeah, you can mm -hmm. sit under here and put some put some chairs under here and uh, that works really well too, especially when it's raining or a little misty out. You can mm -hmm. sit under there if you take it off the truck. Uh, the, this truck camper does have the Happy Jack legs on it. It's got a 4800 series in the front and I think a 4160 or something in the back. We'll, we'll check that out. We have installed the stable camper system, which are these these legs there. They, they brace it and they, they make the truck camper super sturdy so it doesn't shake around. It's just super solid when you take it off the truck and you hook that up. It's fantastic. It's a, it's a big upgrade. So whether you have Northern Light or you got a, a Lance or a Host or an Eagle Cap or whatever, Check out Stable Camper. We'll put a link to our video up at the top. Yeah, we'll put a link to that so you can check that out. And uh, just check them out. They, they make a fantastic product. So if you got a truck camper, look into that. But So as we go on around, more uh, thermal uh, acrylic windows. And then on the front, just it's got the marker lights on top. And then, of course, the Northern Light name on it. Uh, full fiberglass. Uh, as we walk around the camper, you'll see that it is a full fiberglass camper. So it has two shells that come together on this belt line that goes all the way around. There are no seals around the bottom or the top along the roof line. So it's 
just that one uh, belly band is what I call it that goes all the way around where they come together. So that's super nice. It has the fiberglass wraps all the way around and down across the front and all the way across the bottom. And under the front bed area, you will see that there's a nice uh, window that uh, is perfect for dogs. If they're inside, they can you know look out or uh, you can actually look through the rear view mirror through that uh, window and through the, the rear window in the door so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on behind you. But on the left side here we have uh, the hot water heater, gas and electric hot water heater, uh, city or the, the water fill for the fresh tank and then the uh, cable TV hook up here. Uh, large dinette window which has been really nice when you're sitting in there it works great. Power connections, city water fill, outdoor shower, all pretty standard stuff. And then as well as the stable camper system, you can see goes on both sides. And uh, so that really works well. And then down here is where all the, uh, the water, the water area is with the, the dump valves and that sort of thing. So, and the Happy Jack wireless system is in there, the gray and the black, and then it, it has uh, some hoses that are for the, uh, the winterization and that sort of thing. On the rear of the truck camper, uh, obviously the door, but uh, it has a, a large rear awning. I think it's a seven foot or something that they call it. Uh, I'll show that to you here in a moment. It has LED tail lights and it has the marker lights up above the, the awning there. And then there's a backup camera. And it's got this, it's got this flip down step. So this step is fantastic. Uh, it's reversible, so you can step up here. And then there's a, a locking pin where you just lock it in place while you're traveling. Or you can just put it down and uh, use like a normal step. And then it's got the middle step. This comes off and it has the basement area for lots of extra storage. Large slide out tray, you can put all kinds of stuff in there, that thing's fantastic. And then there's more storage here and more storage over there. So there's a lot of uh, basement storage on this camper. Uh, a real heavy duty uh, ladder to get on top. Up here on the roof, you can see the skylight, and that right there is the uh, powered TV antenna, two solar panels, air conditioner, fantastic fan, and the uh, fridge vent right there. And yeah, there's two 100 watt uh, solar panels on top. And uh, that's worked really well for us. Cause we've actually ran the refrigerator several times on DC and, uh, and it, it's worked great for uh, probably the longest we've done it for is six, seven hours, but it traveled and the refrigerator stayed nice and cold. Although we did cool it down the night before, so it was good to go, but it kept it stable. Uh, throughout the trip and the solar panels kept the batteries charged and worked great. While we were running though, we turned it on too. Yeah, we also put turned the temperature level down and then put it on DC and yeah, it worked great. You know, or you can run the refrigerator on gas. It is a three-way refrigerator. So it's got two, the rear door has two windows. And like I was saying, the lower window, you can see all the way through, uh, you know, from the truck. Uh, both of them have have shades, got an outdoor light, and uh, and that's about it for the exterior. So let's go on in and show you the inside. I have a lot of favorite things about this camper, but personally my favorite one is the inside of it. Let me show it to you, come on. When you first walk in, the first thing you'll notice is the wood. It's called Sapelli wood, and it's actually what first drew us to this camper. When we saw it, we just absolutely fell in love with it. It's kind of like a boat interior um, and it's kind of got like stripes through it so anyway you can see that throughout the camper 
Um, starting on this end, let's say we have uh, the exterior light here. We have the awning switch, the awning light, the battery or the solar uh, panel here. Monitor. Solar monitor. Then we have the battery disconnect here. We have like a little key thing here that we was here when we got the camper. Um, we also have this, which I, I've really enjoyed having this wardrobe. Uh, it's it's very convenient, and you can just like quickly grab stuff out of it, like a jacket or whatever. But it's really big. Lots of storage in there. Um, I would have preferred to have some shelves, but then well, you, have, you could put some in there. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah you could. We just never did. We never did. Yeah. yeah. Um, another. A pretty deep storage area this 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 camper really does have a ton of storage in it and um, drawers that are uh oh this is actually some stuff that goes with the camper but um, deep drawers that you can put lots of lots of stuff in this drawer here is uh, used it for our junk drawer which is you'll see yeah <laughs> What's this? It's the LP monitor. Uh, LP monitor. I have a hard time remembering that. So, um, Dometic refrigerator. I think this one's like a 6.3 cubic foot. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but yeah, six something. Good. Yeah, six something. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a big freezer and big refrigerator. Yeah. And it's worked great. No complaints there. Yeah. We do like that it has the mirror in the front. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. One one unique feature of this camper is that they put the mirror on the refrigerator, yeah. which I like it personally. Some people don't, so. Uh, there's another mirror here on the outside of the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Wet bath. And it's relatively... I mean, I would consider this a bigger wet bath because the the last what I have it to compare it to is our Casita wet bath. So, yeah, that's a good size wet bath. I mean, you can pretty comfortably take a shower in here, and it's tall, and and I can fit in there, and I'll take a shower curtain goes around like that. Whenever you're taking a shower, you can leave the door open or close it. Yeah, medicine cabinet there, and it's got a you know sink, and and we and, put a uh, oxygenics in it. And you can move this over whenever you're showering. We just put it over there to get it out of the way. It's got a good size fan up there. Nice large medicine cabinet there. Toilet paper holder, soap holder. Yeah, it works. For a wet bath, it's fine. And then, this is one pretty cool feature about this too, is this, and I, I don't think well, the, the new ones with the wet bath have, have this. This is a nice, uh, tall um, pantry pull-out that you can put like cans or pretty much anything in. We put just about everything. Everything. Cups. And I think you put some shoes in there one time. <laughs> Box stuff like, you know, pancake mix, Bisquick, that kind of stuff fits yeah. in there real well. So that's the hallway area. Let's flip around and check out the kitchen area. So welcome to the kitchen area. Um, this is the stovetop cover, which is a nice glass stovetop cover. Really dresses the area up nicely. Um, has a stainless oven and stovetop. Three burner cooktop here. I've enjoyed the oven immensely. Has uh, some storage here below the the oven. Big drawer. And then I would personally say this has ample counter space. Um, I've used this, at, you know, over here, put it on here as a workspace, or I've actually like occasionally put it here. It fits nicely right here, so you can like have a sort of like have a sort of a work area like that. Yeah, that gives you a lot of extra countertop space. Yeah, it's really nice. And then it has a nice big deep stainless sink. Uh, curl faucet there. Uh, nice task lighting over here. Has th this camper has great lighting in the whole camper. I mean, there's ample light uh, LED lights, and it really lights it up. Then it has the um, 
that hood here. Turn that on whenever you're cooking. It has a light. It has storage. Storage. Microwave. Stainless microwave. Which, if you don't use a microwave, you could remove that and make more storage. Moving over to the dinette area, we have um, more storage up here. We have large dinette, which um, I think it would fit, you know, one large person comfortably or maybe a couple of small kids. You mean as a bed? As a bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'll as fit plenty bed. of people at the dinette, but. Yeah, uh, they, it'll probably fit yeah. four, people, four yeah. adults at the dinette comfortably. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've never actually slept on it as a bed, but I'm sure an adult could. It's pretty large. Taylor has. Yes. <laughs> Taylor uses it as a bed. We uh, put, you know, covers over it and make her a big bed, and she actually sleeps there nicely since we're so close. Mm -hmm. But anyway. And the table slides sideways. Yeah, the table, it's, you know, got this nice feature that you can move it from side to side. If you want to, like, have some more room here, you can move it over and just have some plenty of space. It's got the breadth of the bracket that where it goes up and down real easy. You just flip the lever and it goes up and down, so real easy to make into a bed. It has um, storage under the dinette, two drawers just like that one. They're both equally sized there. And then um, one thing I forgot to point out on that end is the Fantastic Fan. And it actually has um, remote control Fantastic Fan. Yeah, there's, there's the remote for it there. The there. Then here's the tank holding levels. Yeah, there's the, the tank monitor. The monitor. Yeah, and, and the bat, there's a water pump, and it's got the, the tank levels, as, uh, they have a, and the battery uh, level as well there, too. Yeah, the um, thermostat, thermostat for there. the heater. And the typical northern light clock that's not on uh, the proper time or date, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think we ever even no. seen um, These windows are really cool. Um, I'm, so, you want me to show these? Sure, let me get this side for you. Yeah, so you can like, one really cool thing, is you, you can put them out like that, and they're kind of the awning style windows. If it rains, the rain doesn't get in. Um, if you just want, this is actually the emergency hatch, as you'll see. But if you just want to like vent them, they they have it, you know, so you can just click in right there, and then it's vented. It actually leaves like a little space. And in the winter, as most truck campers know, truck camper owners know, you can have moisture in your camper, so it's it's good to have it vented. So it, that's a good way to like vent it. And the good thing about that is, if you can see here. You can do that and it actually locks. It'll lock in a vented position. So there's about a half inch gap I can stick my finger through, but the window stays locked if, if you want, want yeah. to do that. Or it'll click just a little ways out or all the way, so. Yeah, you just kind of have to find that right sweet spot there. One thing about the 2019 that I've noticed and I, it's only, I've only looked at a couple of the 2020 and 2021 models. It has the Sapelli wood behind the dinette which I really like. It has the um, reading lights on both sides of the dinette. It has another LED light here. And um, one of my favorite things about this particular camper, I, I really liked this um, fabric in this one. I looked at several, we looked at several of them and I really liked this fabric. Yeah, because it has the blue in there. Yeah. And a lot of them don't have blue or much color, so yeah. having the blue in there was, was a nice feature that yeah. we really enjoyed. Yeah, I really like that. And then it, it came with the matching comforter and then the pillows, pillow covers there. Um, this is Taylor's favorite feature right here. It's the lower window so she can see out. And then you, at night, you can just pull the curtains closed. <laughs> yeah, I guess you like that. Let's see, we have the, one thing I didn't point out was, it has the um, Jensen stereo uh, DVD CD player in its Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Has the um, 12 volt and the um, USB charger, chargers there. Yeah, thank you. And then also it has um, the remote for the 
stereo, or actually this is a remote for the TV, this is a remote for the stereo, and this is LED lighting that we have on the outside that we'll show later. <laughs> TV, which, you know, is adjustable. You can turn it around and you can actually like view it from the dinette area or the bed area. Um, plenty more storage. This is actually the controller for the wine guard antenna on the outside. Um, more storage around the bed area. This is pretty deep storage. Uh, let's see. As you'll see. Around. And it has that on both sides of the bed. Reading lights on both sides of the bed. It has LED lights on both sides of the bed. And then um, there is on the right side of the camper, there's a 12 volt plug and a USB plug right there behind the TV. And then also there's speakers in the bed area right here. So moving on around, we have the, um, what, another wardrobe on, on this side. And it's a really deep area. Um, it also has a hanger at the top, so you can use it like a closet and hang plenty of stuff in there. One thing that I forgot to mention up front real quick is these windows have the day-night shades. And it's hard, they're kind of tough to get up because they're still kind of fresh, but that's for nighttime when you want to block out the light. This is for the daytime whenever, if you want to open the windows. Screen. It's a screen so you can keep the bugs out. It's not really day night, it's more of a nightshade <laughs> yeah. and a screen. Nightshade and a screen, yeah. And it's got the hinky uh, skylight. Skylight. With, with a nightshade on it as yeah, well. Yeah, the nightshade. It's got the screen on that as well and then the nightshade. And it also has this little thing that you can um, close if you want to have some privacy to the kitchen dinette area. As you'll see, um, it has really nice vinyl flooring throughout. And then there's also a custom cut rug that goes in, that's like custom fitted for the whole length of the hallway here. And that's really nice. We've never actually used it because we have a pet and it's easier just to brush everything out, but it's nice. Well, that's about it for the tour of our 2019 Northern Light 10-2. Appreciate you hanging around and watching. I know the video is kind of long, but uh, thanks for hanging out and checking it out with us. Uh, we do love this camper. Uh, the reason it is empty is because we are about to sell it. Uh, so if anybody's interested, you can let us know. Once it is sold, we'll post down below the video in the comment section. and We'll put and, our uh, email address below too so that you can contact us and we'll let you know either way if it's still for sale or not. That's right. We haven't put it up for sale yet. But anyhow, uh, that's it for the tour. If you got any questions, let us know and we'll try to answer them the best that we can. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.